How's it going guys? It's IMX Man back again with another video and today we got a special video because today we're going to be going over everything that we know about Madden 18 so far and guys I am reading this off an article so if you guys are interested in reading the article yourself there will be a link in the description to it so uh yeah. With Madden 18 coming out in less than a month, we still do not know everything about the game, but here is what we do know. With an entirely new graphics engine and a long shot story mode, Madden 18 is coming out strong for 2017 with tons of new Madden 18 features, gameplay, modes, and upgrades. This is what you need to know about Madden 18 release date and details. Tom Brady is a Madden 18 cover athlete, and he isn't worried about the Madden curse. Madden 18 switches to Frostbite this year, which delivers better graphics across the game and delivers experience that includes college play, off the field experiences, and massive story mode called Longshot. EA also packs in a Mutt Squads, a 3v3 online Madden mode that allows you to combine Madden Ultimate teams and go up against other players with your friends. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really pumped for Mutt Squads because I don't know if you guys play this in Madden 25, but there was this thing I think called Team Play. It was pretty much the same thing. But what would happen is you would actually have to use um, like NFL teams, so you couldn't use like your friends' mud squads or, you know, you couldn't use people's like players in Madden Ultimate Team. But guys, I'm really excited for this. Tell me if you're excited for this in the comments too. Once again, there is no NCAA 18 to deliver college football, which leaves us the NFL as the main option. On the upside, you'll be able to play the NFL Combine and even play some college football thanks to some schools licensing their logos. Alright guys, so I don't know if you guys saw, well you guys probably did see the long shot um, trailer, but um, I did see University of Texas and I forgot the other college that um, they had their licensing to the logos too. The Madden 18 release date is August 25th, EA confirmed this when announcing Madden 18 and Tom Brady is the cover athlete. For the last 10 years, the new Madden game arrived in August and that's not changing. One major change to the Madden 18 release date is that it's on a Friday this year. Traditionally, the new Madden game arrives on Tuesday. I didn't even know about this, but apparently it's going to be on a Friday this year, which I think is actually a cool thing because you get to play it for the weekend. If you buy the standard edition, you will need to wait until Tuesday after the initial release. If you have EA access, you can still play early with a standard edition. EA notes that there is a GOAT edition upgrade available on the Xbox Store and PlayStation Store, but they're not listed yet. Madden 18 is coming to Xbox One and PS4. This includes the Xbox One, the Xbox One S, and the Xbox One X, as well as the PS4, the PS4 Slim, and the PS4 Pro. There's no mention of Madden 18 for Nintendo Switch or older consoles. There's no Madden 18 cover vote this year, and there is no mystery. Tom Brady's on the cover of Madden 18, including the special edition of the game. Brady is not worried about the Madden curse, and in the video above, I don't know if you guys can see the video, but I did include it in the video where he's uh, he's talking about the Madden curse and he's walking under the ladder and whatnot. In late July, we get our first look at the Madden 18 gameplay and the latest trailer. This cuts between gameplay and cinematic sequences, but it's the best look at the game graphics we have yet. At EA Play, we saw a very brief look at the new offensive line mechanics in Madden 18. Some sneakily captured gameplay footage. Yeah, guys, if you didn't know this already, there was a person at EA Play that did record um, the gameplay that they saw with their phone, which I think was not allowed but like it's not amazing quality but you can still see it kind of does look similar to Madden 17 but I'm not I'm not entirely sure yet you shouldn't count on a Madden 18 demo that you can play on your own PS4 or Xbox one when you buy the Madden 18 goat edition you can play three days early on Xbox one or PS4 with EA access we expect that gamers will also get to play early five days before the release date if you guys didn't already know EA access is only available on Xbox one and what it is you can it's a membership that you can uh, apply for and it lets you play all EA games that they release, including Madden and FIFA and NHL, uh, five days early for 10 hours. So that's kind of cool. You don't have to like buy the GOAT edition, but I don't know about you guys, but I think I am going to get the GOAT edition this year. Tell me if you guys are too. We are in for a major upgrade to Madden 18 graphics and gameplay thanks to the switch to Frostbite. This engine is in use for FIFA 18 and FIFA 17, and it delivers more room to include off the field moments as well as to deliver better gameplay on the field. We are still waiting for the actual Madden 18 gameplay to see what Madden 18 graphics look like while you play, but the cinematic footages look good. EA states, and I quote, Our Madden NFL franchise will transition to the Frostbite engine with Madden NFL 18 unlocking major visual advancements and new gameplay experiences that will excite dedicated Madden players, football fans, and sports fans overall. EA is already hiring Madden testers that will check the NFL gameplay for accuracy. So I guess they're um, hiring people to play the game to make sure everything's accurate. That's 
seems like a pretty nice job. This new engine can render on the field footage as well as off the field footage. Using the same engine in interviews at EA Play, we learn that there will be a lot of off the field moments in long shot. In addition to delivering a new look for the game, it looks like we will also see more in-depth story mode where you can control a player as he works his way through the NFL. At EA Play, gamers were allowed to play Madden 18 for the first time. From regular players to professionals to YouTube creators. Alright guys, they do have a few tweets that they um, provided here. And one guy said, it's a beautiful game. Another said, acceleration matters a lot in getting off the line and it animates totally differently. I don't know guys, Madden 18 looks a lot similar to like Madden 17, but I can't judge it because I haven't played it obviously. Overall, the general opinion is that the switch to Frostbite is a positive and the new Madden 18 features are impl implemented well. There are several new Madden 18 features that we know about so far and we expect to learn about them in the next month. Here's what's new in Madden 18. Alright guys, they have a list here. Play new NFL matchups. I think that's like code for uh, roster update. New play styles. Yeah, I think there's um, Arcade, which I think was um, Madden 18, Mutt 18 last year. Uh, competitive and then simulation, target passing, coach adjustments, coverage assignments, Madden 18 story mode long shot, Mutt Squad's 3v3 online. Alright, that's all they have. The Madden 18 trailer shows off a player outside of Lucas Oil Stadium. We also know that you can manage your Madden 18 franchise with a smartphone app this year. That's kind of crazy you can control your franchise on your phone now. You can count on Madden 18 graphic upgrades thanks to the Switch to Frostbite. EA switched FIFA to Frostbite last year and this year it's time to upgrade Madden. We get to see game engine footage in the Madden 18 teaser trailer, but we don't see any head-to-head -head gameplay that reveal the changes you will see when you play. The Madden 18 graphic upgrades we know about include better looking stadiums inside and out. With Frostbite, we see better skylines and stadium exteriors. EA promises that you can watch the spectacle of an NFL game come to life in our most pro photorealistic game to date. Frostbite can deliver better looking faces as well, so I guess players faces will look more accurate that's kind of that's kind of good this is one of the places where fifa upgrades were most noticeable ea promises more to come but specifically calls out the fireworks that you can see in the video above ea promises more to come but specifically calls out fireworks that you can see in the video above player runouts and stunning weather elements frostbite delivers impressive weather in battlefield 1 and we hope that it means that we will see more realistic weather elements in madden 18 all right guys so that's all i have for today if you guys are interested in the Madden 18 article I just read, you guys um, can read it in the description. But um, yeah, guys, be sure to like the video, subscribe, because I'm going to be doing a lot more Madden 18 videos. I'm X-Madden, signing up. See you guys.